So this video is kind of just showing off a cool tip that I recently found in Godot and also just a workaround for an issue that I've personally run into a lot. Basically, if you're working with like a two-dimensional game in Godot and you're doing any sort of lighting, you're probably going to be using this canvas modulate node. I'm going to hide it here, but all it does is really just modulate the entire canvas layer by a specific color. So usually you use it to darken the scene and then you just put in all your different lights to actually provide, you know, light to the scene. Now, an issue that I've found with it is the canvas modulate is going to darken literally everything. So for example, I have these barrels and they have health bars, but when the health bars show up, they're completely dark, which personally I find that kind of irritating because it's kind of like a UI element. So I want it to show up to the player. You can see like with the damage numbers that are appearing, they're completely lit up. They're not being affected by the canvas modulate. So I'm just going to show you how to fix that quick. If I go to my health bar scene and I select any of the objects or canvas items that are affected by light. So in this case, let's do my health bar texture rect first. I'm going to go into the inspector on the right hand side, scroll down to this material section. And inside of here, you just have to make a new canvas item material. And then with this created, if I go into this resource, you can see that we have the light mode. And by default, it's set to normal. I'm just going to switch this to unshaded shaded and that's all you have to do. So now this object with the material on it will no longer be shaded or affected by light. And to go a step further, you can actually right click this resource and save it as a specific file. So I actually did that previously. I can just right click, hit quick load, and I have this unshaded material that I can just load onto any canvas item. And that way I don't have to create a new material all over the place for different nodes. But I'm gonna just go through my scene tree quick and apply this to my other texture rect and labels because I should do that. That way they're all gonna be affected by this unshaded material. And now running the game again, you can see if I hit these barrels, the health bars pop up and they aren't affected by light. I guess they kind of hide pretty quickly. Maybe I should change that, but you can see it's a bit more intuitive. I feel like for UI elements and things like that, you probably want them to be unaffected by light just so that it's easier to actually you know, see what's going on. And I definitely do like it for the damage numbers as well that are popping up. Now, really quickly, you're also probably thinking that you can do this with separate canvas layers, and that is true. So as shown in the documentation, Canvas Modulate applies its colors to all nodes on a canvas, which means you can use separate canvas layers to you split things up. That would technically work, like putting this health bar on a separate canvas layer would work. But the issue that I've found is canvas layers have their own independent layers, which means you can't really do things with Z index. So let's say like in one of my worlds or something, I had like an arch that you could walk under. The health bar would appear in front of that arch if it was on a different canvas layer, which I would personally want it to kind of be anchored to the entity that it's attached to and display under the arch or actually be Y sorted with the object that it's attached to. That's kind of my personal preference, but I guess I should mention that's another way you can do it. But either way, I found that was a really interesting workaround for this issue. And previously, I didn't even know this unshaded light mode existed. So I thought it was cool uh, to share with you guys. But anyways, that's it for this video. So thank you to all the current channel supporters. Quick sneak peek, um, I am working on this map generator like plugin, I guess. So it still has a couple issues, but I will be making this public to all channel supporters first. Uh, very soon. So if you are supporting the channel in any way, you will get access to this soon. And then after that, I'm hoping to make it public, like once it's more stable. But just want to give you guys a quick sneak peek in case you're interested. But yeah, with that, thank you for watching the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.